Francis Miles. This is Dr. Francis Miles. I'm so very excited. I'm coming to you live, uh, dealing with um, dealing with uh, dangerous prayers for your workplace. Dangerous prayer for your workplace, and the reason I'm doing that is because. Uh, how many know that some of your greatest warfare uh, can come at your workplace? And so I want to be able to pray for you today over demonic attacks, demonic technologies, witchcraft, that you are fighting at your workplace. You know, that if you can understand why you're not going ahead when you should be going ahead, why you're being passed over promotions that are due you, then these dangerous prayers we're about to release are really for you. But I'm going to also uh, embellish them with the, uh, or embed them with the teaching uh, so that I can give context to what we are praying about. But that said, I want you to tell, let, let, let as many people know right now, share the feed and tell them that the mouse is about to release a dangerous prayer for your workplace. You know, one thing, one, you know, what, what, there's one thing we cannot avoid. We can avoid the workplace and the marketplace. And so I want to make sure that today you are reinvigorated, that fresh grace from heaven is released over your life by the power of the Almighty God in Jesus' mighty name. Now, while I'm, you're getting ready to share this feed on Facebook and YouTube, I want to talk about an event that we'll be doing at Francis Mouse International that starts tomorrow right here uh, where my studio is. Uh, at a church called New Covenant Church in McDonald, Georgia. So we're going to put up the, uh, the flyer. Praise God, as you can see. Uh, I'm just going to go through that beautiful flyer so that uh, by the grace of God, we can appreciate who is going to be in the house, you know, ministering with us by the Spirit of the Lord. We just want to be able to enjoy these powerful speakers. As you can see, we have the legendary speaker, uh, Dr. Lance Warner, who is one of the premier uh, voices today on the gospel of the kingdom and how it applies to the marketplace, to the seven mountains, business, entertainment, government. I'm telling you, he is the man for that message. You can not, you cannot, you, you can, you must definitely, you must definitely. Uh, receive that ministry by the Holy Spirit in Jesus' mighty, mighty, and glorious name. Now, we got Apostle Dwayne Hardin, you know, an apostolic voice in America like no other. Dr. Francis Mouse and my wife Kamala, we are bringing, we are going to bring it. If you live in Georgia, Alabama, Tennessee, Florida, those are drivable distances. The Queen of Sheba drove many, many miles to go and meet with King Solomon. So hopefully you can join us for that. Dinda Vega, you know, a powerful prophetic intercessor and preacher and teacher of the word of God. Apostle David Whittington, who moves in the glory realm, mightily coming all the way from Maryland. My God, what I call the, Baptist, the John the Baptist of fire. Apostle Jeremiah Horsford, you talk about revival happening in a church. They are experiencing it. Then, of course, my dear friend, Apostle Jackie Tyre. And there's going to be an amazing time of worship. We begin tomorrow. Tomorrow, 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 it will be happening. So this, again, you can go to events.francismiles.com. Events.francismiles.com. And you can uh, register to be with us during this powerful time of the God encounter. Amen. Well, uh, with that said, um, I want to... I really, wanna, I, I really want to, to really uh, delve into the subject that the Lord has given me for today because I really believe that many of you are facing demonically engineered warfare at your workplace. And uh, many of you, you have been passed on for promotions that really should have been yours by now. But, but, the, but the, somehow the devil has intercepted the devil has made it difficult for you to really enjoy the, the breakthrough that is due you at your workplace. And so I want to really get into that because I really believe by the Spirit of God that God is going to do something supernatural for you. 
you know, because some of you, you, you are so loving. You are full of joy. You love the Lord, but, you, but you, don't, you don't understand why some of your co-workers that keep coming at you, you know, they, I mean, they're very vi uh, visceral towards you, you know, and you, and you come back home, you feel like you are in a wrestling match. Instead of enjoying your work, your work just becomes a battlefield every time you go there. The devil is a liar. That is definitely not your portion. So today I want to pray for you. I want to list this powerful, dangerous prayer in your life for your workplace. So I want you to share with as many people as you can. And uh, if you are dealing with any workplace situation that you want me to highlight, pray into, please put it in the comment section. If there's a specific prayer request related, you know, related to drama, demonic attacks at the workplace. Somebody said they were just ready to quit. They needed this prayer. They were ready to quit today. That's the level of warfare they're experiencing at their workplace. And so I know that there are demonic technologies, there are demonic entities that are designed to frustrate God's children at the workplace. The devil would like to drive you out of the company. He would like to drive you from that company. You like, like the work, but just don't like the environment, the climate around your job. I'm here to tell you that God is, is about to supernaturally intervene in the climate at your workplace. You're going to begin to see even people that have been trying to bring you down. If they don't repent after this prayer, they'll be the one going down in flames. I mean, they'll be the one parking in their cubicle. And you'll be like, sorry, God bless you. But in your heart, you are, having some, you are dancing the dance of the Lord because you know this is the Lord's doing and is marvelous in our sight. It is the Lord's doing and is marvelous in our sight. So get as many people on this. I said, the mouse is in the house and is about to release a dangerous, prayer, dangerous prayers. You know, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, hallelujah. Makaraba sende. Come on, tell as many people. Makaraba ba ba ba. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Today you're going to deliver your people who have been experiencing Gehenna. Um, uh, at the place of work. These are dangerous prayers. Dangerous prayers. Amen. Hallelujah. These are dangerous prayers that are going to change the environment at your workplace. Dangerous prayers for your workplace. They are prayers designed by the Spirit of God for you to have victory uh, at your workplace. Because I believe that the workplace is about to be a place of breakthrough for you like you have never known it before in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Okay. So I'm going, while you are uh, monitoring the people on Facebook and YouTube. So again, if you're dealing with anything at work, witchcraft, a demonic boss or li people lying on you, whatever you are dealing with, put in the comment section what you want me to pray into. I'm going to be praying, you know, some dangerous prayers so that your workplace will not be your barrio site. Your workplace will not be an inferno of, of warfare so that you can rest. That type of work. Amen? Because today we are dealing with dangerous prayers for your workplace. That is the focus of the prayers today. Because I know if the devil can get you in church, he'll wait for you in the workplace. He knows that, you know, and he knows that you can avoid going to work. Especially if you have a family, you're going to need maybe to feed your family, be there for your family. So your own sense of responsibility requires that you show up at work. But yet at work, the devil is waiting for you. You know, uh, somebody said, Chris said, God, yes, bless you. So many attacks. So this is Chris, you know, Meland, who's been going through so many attacks at the workplace. And I know that that's not surprising to me. You know, somebody, Matilda, is telling us, I had cried asking God if this job is from him because sometimes we are treated like slaves, like we, like we you know, like we have no feeling. Please pray for me to find peace at work. 
Matilda, you're not the only one. This is why God told the man of God that I want you to release grace. See, you see, the realm of the spirit is a realm of power. You know, God has given me tremendous power in my life and ministry. And I'm telling you, uh, when I pray today, because demons, see, demons don't, don't, don't react to theology. They react to power. You know, and I come in the power of the Holy Ghost to declare when I pray today, because I've been sent by God to pray for you, that God is going to literally send angels to intervene at your workplace. I, I, let me tell you a story around this, and I'll give you a scripture teaching just for about five, ten minutes, and then get ready for some serious prayers, and I'll be going through your, your comments to see the different people I'm supposed to be praying for by the Spirit of the Lord. But I remember uh, that uh, there is a brother uh, uh, in our church uh, in, in Zambia. That time I used to live in Zambia. I was a young man that was really in the early 90s. And, uh, you know, he, he, he was a good brother, loved the Lord, would come, I mean, just, just was faithful in the house of the Lord. Then one day he, was, he just broke down. He was a man, man, full grown man, broke down because he was being treated like a slave. I'm telling you, he said, even though he was in number two, he was supposed to be the, the, assist, the assistant, the supervisor. I guess the supervisor was either intimidated by him, but whatever the, the case, he treated him like he was trash. He as a child of God was really badly treated at the workplace. So guess what happened? I, got, I, I, I felt the righteous indignation of the Holy Ghost, which I feel right now. And the Lord told me, you need to pray, Francis. And I prayed and I said, I said, if this boss of yours, so-called boss of yours, does not, he has seven days to repent. If he does not repent, do, you, you'll be shocked how God is going to bring him down. My God, I had no idea how quick this was going to happen. I prayed, for, I, prayed for them. I prayed for him. It was a Sunday. By Wednesday, by Wednesday, of that same week, he drives in, he goes into work, and when he arrives, the auditors are all over the, uh, are in their workspace. And uh, the boss that was mean to him treated a child of God as though he was a slave. You know, as though he was less than a, less than a human being. That same man was being walked out of the building. So when he asked the people what happened, where well, he said, well, the auditors made a surprise visit and they found that this man had been embezzling money. And so they, they, they fired him on the spot. He was, driven, uh, he, he was driven out of the workplace right away. And guess what happened? Then the day afterwards, the boss comes to him, the, the, the superiors come to the, to the young man and say, listen, we, we've looked at you, you have been faithful, you have not been tied to what this man has been doing, so we want you to become the new boss. So he became the head of that division, so there was nobody to talk down on him, mistreat him publicly, you know, because now he was the boss. This happened in less than seven days. Why am I telling you the scripture? I'm, I'm telling you the story. It is because I want you to get encouraged to release your faith before we begin to pray these dangerous prayers for your workplace. We are going to come after witchcraft. We're going to come after divination, all that stuff in a, in a little bit. So get ready, get ready, get ready. You know, Katie Dossett says, thank you, Dr. Francis Mouse. I have had so many challenges over the years. Well, Katie, get ready for a miracle. Get ready for the, the divine intervention of God over your workplace. Those who are in Facebook, come on now. Yeah, amen. I'm seeing different people on Facebook who are watching and they're giving their comments as well. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Amen. Jack Jean Vicky says, my daughter, Christi Kristen, is facing so much attacks, uh, lies and accusation witchcraft she can't even sleep at night so we are going to be dealing with all of that stuff you know because some of the witchcraft many of you are fighting could be coming from the workplace somebody wants to take your job or they want you out of the out of the company because your presence always at always 
always ag ag agitates the demons in them. So they can operate properly because every time you walk into your, into your office, you come with the glory of God, the light of God. So they're trying to get you out of there because they know that it's a matter of time. If they don't get you out of there, they'll be the ones who are leaving the workplace. But I declare by the Spirit of God today, by the time we finish praying, that there will be the ones who will be leaving the workplace, not you. Or God is going to drastically transform them or subdue them and silence them. And even they'll see you, they'll not treat you like before in Jesus' mighty name. Praise God. So, I, I want to read a verse that I thought would be important to give you context for why this prayer we're about to pray is critical and important to every believer who is with us today from around the world. Now, some of you, granted, will be watching this when I'm no longer alive. I want to tell you that the anointing is ever fresh. The anointing is ever relevant. So whatever time you connect with this, I want you to release your faith. Just release your faith and watch the power of God come upon you and God begin to clean the atmosphere at your workplace and turn things around for your good. Get ready for elevation supernaturally at your place of work in Jesus' name. So in the book of Genesis 31, we have a story that actually speaks to this issue. It speaks to the issue we are dealing with today. You know? Uh, it's a workplace issue that he's dealing with. And so I just want to uh, read it. Genesis, th Genesis 31, verse 1. Uh, we're going to read from verse, from verse 1. We're going to read from verse 1 and go all the way to verse 7. Now Jacob heard the words of Laban, of Laban's, Laban's sons. Jacob heard the words of Laban's sons saying, Jacob has taken away all that was our father's, all that was, was our father's, and from what was our father's, he was acquired all this wealth. You see, there's a lot of people in the workplace who are full of jealousy, and they will attack you. They, they can't understand the favor of God upon your life, that you've got a work ethic that is, super, that is so powerful, you are being elevated because you work so hard. But no, 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 no. The spirit of jealousy... Will, become, uh, will be weaponized against you. But today, God will deliver you. Verse 2. And Jacob saw the countenance of Laban, and indeed it was not favorable towards him as before. Is it amazing when people begin to change how they feel about you? It shows up in the face, you know, that they can't hide it. You know, they, they, their countenance begins to change. And verse 3. Then the Lord said to Jacob, Return to the land of your fathers, to your family, and I will be with you. What, what does it mean? It means for some of you, after because of these dangerous prayers today, God is actually going to remove you from that workplace and actually give you a better job in a workplace that will be an answer to prayer. But for some of you, God will just change the environment at your current workplace. My point is this. Receive the miracle from whatever angle the Lord will release it over your life in Jesus' mighty name. Verse 4, so Jacob sent and called and uh, Rachel and Leah to the field. These were his wives. To his flock and said to them, I see your father's countenance, that it is, it is not favorable towards me as before. But the God of my father has been with me. I'm here to tell you, since you're going to be telling people very soon, you'll be testifying the God of my father, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob is with me because the way things have turned around at my company is supernatural. The boss that never that hated me has been fired and a new one has been hired and we are just best of friends. God is going to do wonderful things for you at your workplace. You better get ready to receive this anointing that is coming through the broadcast in Jesus' name. He says to them, watch us now and you, and you know that with all my might, this is Jacob saying, with all my might, I have served your father. How many of you have worked very hard again and again? You've worked very, very hard. And yet, guess what? You have not been promoted or seen the, 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 the rewards, of the fruit of your labor. You know, other people who don't even work as much because of nepotism or demonic technology, they are being promoted, and meanwhile, you are the one 
who works harder than anybody else at your company. The devil is a liar. I'm here to tell you, saints of the Most High God, that God is about to change your story after we pray these generous prayers. But I'm trying to give you word so that your faith can rise, because faith without works is faith, faith without works is dead. You gotta be able to release your faith and watch God move in an amazing way. So here is is saying, with all my mind, I have served your father. Yet your father has deceived me and changed my wages ten times. My God, how many have been, have been at work and your boss keeps promising, oh, I'm going to promote you. I'm going to recommend you. I'm going to do this. Yes, come and go. And you are still in the same place. And the, and the new people are being promoted, are being promoted over you. I, I mean, the devil is a liar. God is about to confront that spirit of Laban that is fighting against you in the marketplace in Jesus' name. God's about to deliver you from the spirit of witchcraft that has, make, that has, made, has made your... Uh, your time at work, miserable. The devil is a liar. In Jesus' name, I declare that God is about to show up for you in the workplace. He's about to show for, up for you. Watch what Jacob says. He says this, Yet your father has deceived me. Change my wages ten times. My God, can you imagine? Every paycheck, your boss has stolen your money. You'll be like, come on, what is this? You know, 10 times Laban changed the wages of Jacob and not to the better. He kept reducing them 10 times. That's what it means. He kept reducing the wages. Listen, if he was promoting, if he was increasing the wages, there is no way Jacob is going to complain. He'll be like, come on, man, put it on. Put it on me. You know, that we, want that, we, we want those raises and bonuses. The reason why Jacob brings it up, because every time J Laban... I changed the wages, it was to bring it down until he paid Jacob less and less and less. I'm here to tell you the devil is a liar. You're not going to be treated like you're nobody. You are a child of the great King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. So today is your day of deliverance for anything demonic at the workplace. Today is the day of deliverance for anything you have been going through demonically at your place of work and God will give you double for your trouble. You better get ready. In Jesus' name. Wow. He says but, he, says, he says, but God did not allow him to hurt me. I love that. Even though Laban changed his wages on me 10 times. But God did not allow him to hurt me. Is that amazing? He did not allow him to hurt me. Then he says, this is so powerful. So this is what we're going to be dealing with today. So I'm going to be focusing now on your comments. Get ready, because this is for you. I want you, by the Spirit of God, to begin to receive. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. So whatever you are, I know I cannot hear you, but I know from the, the chats that you are very much with me. You are actively connected to what I'm doing right now. Amen. Hallelujah. I want you to pray with me. Pray in tongues with me if you can, and then, uh, and then begin to just uh, believe, receive my prayers. As I'm praying, make every prayer I pray yours. Say, that is my prayer. That is my prayer. That is my prayer. You, know, you need to make it yours. Possess the prayers because God is about to work a miracle at your workplace. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God. Hallelujah. By the way, I'm going to be praying for God to bless you with inventions and creative ideas for the marketplace to, you know, come on somebody so you can give greatly into the kingdom of God so that you can really rise in the corporate ladder of your own company at, at, at the record speed by the Holy Spirit in Jesus' name. Oh, Ramanda Rabaka Sande. Oh, Lamanda Lamamamando Robo Sakahanda Bahiki. Lord, I thank you in the name of Jesus, the Son of the living God. That Lord, I felt an anointing today. The whole day today, I felt an anointing of God coming through for your sons and daughters who have been experiencing demonically engineered attacks, warfare at their place of employment, at their workplace. I declare and decree God in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ.
that the courts of heaven are open to judge and adjudicate against these demonic entities that are coming against your children at the workplace. Randa Rama and Obosaka. I declare this by the power of the Holy Ghost. Lord, I pray in the name of the Lord Jesus, the Lord, all that the enemy has done, all that the enemy has been doing at the workplace to, to rob your people of enjoyment of work. I declare and decree that the devil is arrested. I bind him in the mighty name of Yeshua, the son of the living God. Lord, I pray for every man, woman, and child, every man and woman on the other side of this television screen, on the other side of it, Lord, who is saying, I needed this. I needed somebody to agree with me. Lord, I agree with their faith. I agree with their faith that a fresh wind of deliverance is blowing through their company. And I declare and decree that bosses that have been, uh, bosses that, that refuse to line up with God's program for your sons and daughters will be removed in Jesus' name. That Lord, they will say the people that were above them are dismissed uh, uh, unceremoniously out of the company. And then the, their positions will be offered to the children of the kingdom. I pray thus in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Mandarama Kandobo Saka. In the name of Jesus, the Son of the living God. Oh, hallelujah. Get ready, saints. I want you to stretch out your faith because I'm telling you, you know what God is doing? He is delivering you on YouTube and Facebook from every evil technology, every demonic technology that is working against you in the marketplace is being challenged by the power of the Holy Ghost of God in Jesus' mighty name. Lord, I thank you. You did not create the workplace to be, to be like a Gehenna, to be like hell here on earth. That is the devil. Lord, you said, you said in your word, you shall, I shall build my church and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. Lord, I thank you. I declare and decree that the gates of hell shall not prevail against your sons and daughters to remove them prematurely from their workplace that you have ordained them to be by the Holy Ghost. In Jesus' name. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Lord, I thank you for those who have their own businesses, but their business has been challenged in the workplace by the devil. I declare and decree, God, that, Lord, you would you, issue man, da, 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 a divine restraining order against the demonic powers who are going after these kingdom entrepreneurs. By the Holy Ghost, I pray. In Jesus' mighty and glorious name. Lord, I thank you for the prayers for the workplace. I'm telling you, my friends, if you have been going through anything in the workplace, you are not live streaming by accident. Uh, Wednesday says, almost everyone in my workplace are either atheists or practicing yoga, Muslims or Hindu. I'm trying to tell them about Jesus. Please equip me to bring people in my workplace to the glory of God. That is so powerful in the name of Jesus. Father, I thank you that even as she longs to bring the gospel to our workplace, to, our, to the workplace, I pray that you, that you release your anointing. Mandorobo Sakata, like never before, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, to touch your sons and daughters at the workplace in Jesus' name. O Ramakande, Lord, I thank you every demonic entity that has been changing the wages, that has been causing the wages of your people to train downwards, I declare and decree that is the devil. I arrest the spirit of poverty and mammon over God's people, over God's children and their businesses by the Holy Ghost of God. In Jesus' name. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Lord, I thank you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I thank you, Lord, by the power of the Holy Spirit, the Son of the living God, that, Lord, you are visiting your sons and daughters in the workplace, that they will see the hand of God in the land of the living. Isaiah Clark says, I'm also I'm praying for peace 
at my workplace between bosses and co-workers. Many people are losing their jobs for unnecessary reasons and it's putting a lot of pressure on people that have to work harder. Father, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, I bind that demonic spirit of strife and disagreement that has entered the atmosphere at the workplace for Isaiah Clark and I, and I arrest that demonic climate. I arrest that demonic climate by the light of God in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God. Rande rebe manda rabahande. Indalaba mando. Oh, rabakande rebe kande. Lord, touch your people. Receive this grace. Wherever you are, receive this grace. Receive this grace. Wherever you are, receive this grace. In the mighty and the glorious name of Yeshua, the Son of the living God. In Jesus' name. Lord, anybody fighting witchcraft at their place of work. I declare and decree that all that are fighting witchcraft, I declare and declare, Lord, that there is a wind of the Holy Spirit that is being released right now in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. That the workplace will not be a battlefield. It will be a place of enjoyment because of the power of the Holy Ghost that is being released right now in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God. Catherine, says, Dr. Miles, I've been stagnated for over seven years and all efforts to change job has been difficult. Man of God, please pray for me. Lord, I pray for Caroline, for Catherine to get a new job by the oracle of God. And next time she's on a live Zoom, she will be testifying what the Lord has done. Not by man or by power, but by the Holy Ghost of God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I see v Vivomu said, Lord, Lord, help and protect me and my husband at our workplace. And so I declare, Father, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, that you're providing supernatural protection for your sons and daughters at their workplace, that there will be a canopy of God's glory, a canopy of God's protection around your sons and daughters, Ricket at the workplace. In the name of Yeshua, the son of the living God, in Jesus' name. I ask for that, I agree with David Kamanga, that there will be no premature removal from, uh, from your, your children's workplaces. There will be no premature removal from your children's workplaces. I declare this by the power of the Holy Ghost of God. Lord, I thank you for breaking the back of the spirit of Laban. I break the back of the spirit of Laban behind uh, the, the lives of many of God's children that has caused, has caused them not to enjoy the benefits of being in the marketplace or the workplace. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Come on now, I want you to believe God that the supernatural is happening to you right now by the Spirit of God that you are going to begin to find that your workplace is about to become a, a place that you enjoy, a place of enjoy, not a place where you feel like you are trying to survive a warfare. The devil is a liar. Right now, by the decree of the Lord, I issue a divine restraining order. I issue as an, as an officer of the court of heaven, I issue a divine restraining order against you, uh, against every demonic entity at your place of work that is trying to drive you out, that is trying, to, that is, that, that, that is, that is releasing tyranny over your life. I say the devil be, the devil is arrested by the power of the Holy Ghost in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Lindy Jacqueline says, I applied for promotion. I need prayer to get the, prom the portion I applied for. Lord, I release promotions, not just for Lindy, but I declare and decree, Lord, that as I'm praying right now, men and women of God are being touched around the world who are dealing with the same thing that Lindy is believing God for. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, I pray. In the name of Jesus the Son of the living God. I declare and declare that you are being delivered. I declare and declare that the glory of the Lord is being released. The glory of the Lord is being released over your, your workplace. Get ready for revival. Get ready for the move of God at your place of work like you've never known before. In Jesus' mighty and glorious name, 
Come on now. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Father, I thank you. And the spirit of Laban has been overcome. It has been removed by the power of the Holy Ghost. In Jesus' name. Mandaraba Kando Robo Sat. Robo said. In the mighty name of Jesus, Son of a Living God. Hallelujah. See, the thing I like about the story of Jacob is that he says to his wives, and God did not allow me to hurt him, to hurt me. So I really believe that we are the we are the Jacob generation. That we can come before the Lord and say, God, Lord. You know, I've served you with everything in my own hand. I refuse anything else that does not look like God. So, Father, right now, by the power of the Holy Spirit, we ask you to move like never before. Show yourself alive in the lives of your sons and daughters who are, who are live streaming right now and those who watch later. That the anointing will be so heavy and so thick that they'll begin to see immediate divine demonstrations in their life by the Holy Ghost. Man, Johan Robert says, no more uh, harassment on my, my job. My, my, I, I declare and declare creative, ide uh, creative ideas and inventions for my business. For I declare and agree, Father, for your, for, your, for your daughter right now, that there will be a heal, there, there, will be a, there, will be a, there will be a move of God by the Holy Ghost, not by man or by power, by the Spirit of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, I declare that every promotion that you have been passed over is released to you now. Every promotion that should have been yours by now. It was rightfully yours, except for conniving, the lying, the corruption of men. I release, I release it to you now. I said, take that grace. Take that grace. Take that grace right now. As you are watching me, take that grace by the power of the Holy Ghost. In the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the Living God. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, the Son of the Living God. Lord, overthrow evil edicts. Overthrow every evil edict that is speaking against your people's employment. Lord, I ask you to bring down in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Lord, every demonic oracle spoken into the moon, the stars, and the sun, and here on the earth, Makadaba, to try to destroy and attack the careers and the jobs of your people at the workplace. I declare and decree that those demonic entities are being arrested by the living God, and you God's people are going to be free to pursue, to pursue destiny in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God. Oh, the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Lord, I thank you the spirit of Laban over your children will not win. Oh, Father, I thank you. I give you the praise and the glory. And there's none I can do this so majestic in holiness. And so terrible and God has deeds in Jesus' mighty, 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 mighty name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Jesse says, I wanted to, to study, to take a real estate exam, to become a part-time realtor, besides my regular job, which does not have opportunity for, many, for, for, for any kind of increase. Lord, we thank you that for every child of God that is looking for a breakthrough, that is looking for a breakthrough, I declare it by the Holy Ghost that you are doing it even now. In Jesus' mighty name. Marabakando Robo Saka. Marebe Mendebo Itaramama Manderebe. Shakara Bababanderebo Sikende. Hallelujah. Since again, I'm watching for Facebook and YouTube. So you might get lucky. I, I announce your prayer request. And then I pray. But the reality of the matter is this. Whether I pray for, I call your name or not, the anointing that is upon this broadcast is the anointing to overthrow altars to demons uh, at your place of work that have been empowered to attack you through the, their human proxies. But the devil is a liar. 
the devils and their human progresses are being silenced by the power of Almighty God. God is giving you dangerous prayers for your workplace in Jesus' name. Manderebo mandaraba kande. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, people are renouncing online the spirit of Lebanon. That is one thing to renounce. The spirit of Lebanon is the spirit that causes, uh, that causes you to work, 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 but not reap the fruits of your labor. The devil is a liar. The day of working and working, and you do not, you do not, you do not enjoy the fruits of your labor are over in Jesus' name. Lord, I give you the praise and the glory that your people are catching the vision. They're catching the vision, Lord. You are delivering them, Lord. And they'll see the, they'll see the goodness of God in the land of the living by the Holy Ghost. The name of the Lord Jesus Christ, Son of the Living God. Hallelujah. Makaraba. Joyful Jan Janine says, Pastor, I know the Lord taught me uh, to do a, a, a big dog groomer. To be, a do a, to be a big dog groomer. So I can minister to everyone because all walks of life have dogs. But now the, the joy is gone and it's just long hours of work. I cry when I see my, my check. Well, the devil is a liar. Right now we pray, Lord, anything, Lord, I thank you for your Jesse and people like that, Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ, who are trying to find meaning at their place of work. I declare and agree, God, that by the, by the, by the oppression of the end of God, Lord, may you bring joy and may every spirit of witchcraft, Lord, of familiarity that has caused the joy of the Lord to be removed where there was an assignment of God. I bind that witchcraft. I command it to be Gone in Jesus' mighty name. Lord, I thank you and I give you the point and the glory that you are a God, Heavenly Father. You are a God, you are, you, are, you are a God of deliverance. You are a God of deliverance for your people around the world in Jesus' mighty name. Kuraba kanderebe mande, maraba mando robo sikerianda, ilaba mande bo aka, sakara mando bo hiki. Come on, sense, pray with me. Something supernatural is happening to you. You're going to begin to see a new wind will begin to blow over you concerning your work situation. You begin to see the hand of the Lord moving mightily by the Holy Spirit. Lord, I thank you for miracles, signs, and wonders. Oh, I declare over your children, Lord, that the devil will not win. The devil will not win. The devil will not win. Somebody said, please pray that my full pension will be approved. Somebody said, please pray that my full pension, that is William, says, please pray that my full pension will be covered. You know, uh, the devil is a lie. I declare and decree that no system of corruption is going to steal your pension that is due you by the Spirit of God. I declare this in Jesus' name. Not by man or by power, Lord, but by the blessed Holy Spirit. I give you the praise and the glory in Jesus' name. I give you the praise and the glory. Hallelujah. Uh, Fikile, Fikile says, break, breakthrough for my sister Mercy, who is being at, persecuted, persecuted at work. So you may have a loved one. Maybe you have got a great job, but you've got a loved one 
that they love the Lord, but every time they come back from work, you have to pump them up again just to get them encouraged again because the impress of employment beats them up daily. Oh, but I declare and decree by the power of the Holy Ghost. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God, I give you the praise and the glory. The name of the Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Saints, I'm excited about the comments. You are putting the comment section on, on both Facebook and YouTube. We are monitoring them. Hallelujah. Because we want to be able to acknowledge the fact that we see you as you see us by the Holy Spirit. The name of the Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. What a mighty God we serve. Lord, I thank you that the Laban spirit is under divine judgment. That the core of heaven is judging the spirit of Laban over your sons and daughters. Not by man or by power, but by the Holy Ghost of God. Oh God, I thank you for delivering your children. By the God of heaven. By the God of heaven. Lord, I want you like a, like, like a, like a fire, like a wind. To blow Shakaraba through and begin to destroy all these demonic entities that are standing between your children and full joy concerning the assignments you have given them in the marketplace. Vanessa say, Mono says, My husband's terminal benefits from a previous employer has not been paid. Lord, I'm a, Lord right now, I command the earth, I command the earth beneath the feet. Of Vanessa's beneath, beneath Vanessa's feet, I said to the to the feet, uh, uh, to the to the feet, to the dirt. Makarabat, I said, earth, 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 hear the word of the Lord, and I commanded the vomit, uh, 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 the inheritance says, the pensions of men and women who worked for it, but their governments have not yet paid them. We said the devil is a liar; they have to cover it up now in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, the Son of the Living God. Randerebe manda raba mando bobo hinda laba mande keke kindo bo kiki anda rama kan kama hinde bebo landa rama hiki hindo saka ramando manderebe mondo robo siki in the name of Jesus Christ the Son of a living God Hallelujah I would really believe God is up, is up to something big it's not by accident you end up on this life here today. I believe God wants to intercept the demonic technologies or the demons that are even now are being sent by the devil to your workplace because the devil knows if I cannot take you out in church, I would rather take you out in the workplace. And we spend more time in the workplace than we can ever do in the temple. So it just makes sense by the Spirit of God by the, the, when we begin to dwell into these graces and begin to see God release a new, fresh new grace for us to be delivered to be uh, to, uh, to operate a higher re higher realm of the supernatural at our place of work. So, by the Spirit of God, I want you to release your faith. I want you to begin to say, God, I am not going beyond this prayer without seeing a change in my workplace. I want you to release your faith like never before and watch God move. You know, Mel May Lee says, "Good afternoon. Pray for our Asian fusion restaurant it is sold as up over hundred and fifty thousand. And we collect five hundred thousand dollars or five hundred five thousand five or six thousand monthly rental income to pay off commercial loan now. Divine connection to uh okay. Amen. So I I I just declare right now in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, Amen. That if that that if you have a workplace issue where you are doing, you've been trying to sell your business or your restaurant and you can't get in record time, I release grace now. I release grace on your on your on, on companies to sell. I release grace for the right buyer. I command the earth to connect the dots between the seller and the buyer right now, supernaturally, by the hand of the Lord in Jesus' mighty and glorious name. I want you to receive this grace. Listen, I'm gonna continue to pray for you and read some more from the audience. I'll actually begin with Vanessa Grisham. After I come back from this uh, break, because I just want to show you something. We have a uh, Kingdom Fire Court of Heaven conference that starts tomorrow for the next three days. Thursday night, all day Friday, 
and Saturday, and then we're done. It's going to be amazing. So, Mr. Director, if we can just show the kingdom fire, and then I'll be right back with Vanessa Grisham to continue to pray dangerous prayers for the workplace. Then I said, Behold, I have come to do your will, O oh God, to fulfill what is written of me. What about you when you come before a just judge? How much breakthrough, deliverance can you get? Jesus will never come to the cross to die for your sin. He did it already. But he rose in his priestly garments as Melchizedek now. His number one assignment is to defend what he died for in the court. We break every chain. We break everything that the enemy has put upon my life. That we will be a people of honor like never before in Jesus' mighty name. The actual sign of Pentecost is the power of authorized utterance at a higher level where your words pierce the hearts of people and they can't shake the impression of what you created. When God is saying, no, I need you to wake up because you're walking in the wrong direction. And if you keep walking in this direction, you're headed for destruction. Everything that Jesus did when he came to this earth and now he's ascended back to the Father and he says, I've given you all authority, I've given you dominion, now begin to act like it. God wants you to know it's not by your might, it's not by your power, but your spirit is going to raise up in you and he's going to take you right through that mountain. No matter what's happened, my God is faithful. No matter what I feel, my God is going to come through. No matter what they say, my God is going to show up. No matter what I think, my God is on time. He's always been on time. He's never early. He's never late. My God is going to show up. Grace is the divine ability to be and do according to what God called you to. In other words, if God says, be holy as I am holy, grace enables you to be holy. Wow, I tell you, Kingdom Fire, Courts of Heaven Conference, we start tomorrow. Listen, doesn't matter where you are in the world, please live stream this conference. You have it for the next 21 days. It's going to be like nothing you've ever seen before. The producers are Emmy. They have won several Emmys. You know, Emmys. You know, very few people win Emmys. You know, they are, that's all that my producers for this event. So you're going to get Christ a clear picture, and then you can have it for the next 21 days. So you can simply go to events.francismiles.com, and you can um, register for online streaming if you can drive. I hope you can be there in person. Now, if you're one of my YouTubers, one of my Facebooks, and you happen to be there in real time, please come over and introduce yourself to the mouth. I'm one of your YouTubers, okay? I love to meet my YouTubers and my Facebook people whenever I travel around the world or I go to a particular city. Amen. So since we have been praying dangerous prayers for, uh, for your workplace, dangerous prayers for your workplace, so what I'm going to do right now is, amen, I'm going to begin with Vanessa Grisham, and then at the end I'm going to I'll ask everybody to pray a dangerous prayer after me. Where well, you're going to repeat after me. That will be how I go out. I'm going to have you repeat after me. And then we are uh, going to call it a day. But I've got, I've got a few minutes. I've got about 13 minutes before we close the broadcast. 
you know, so I want to, Vanessa Grisham says, Pastor Miles, my husband, my husband, uh, my husband uh, is a landscaper. He's a landscaper. He has worked with the owner, John, with honor. John means the grace of God for six and a half years. He worked up to be a foreman and he lost that and wants it back. Please pray. So, Father, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, you are a God of restoration. Lord, by the law of the blood, by the law of redemption through the blood of Jesus, I'm asking God that you reconcile Vanessa Grisham's husband with, the, with what he lost. It's through the blood that anything we lost can be recaptured or reconciled back to us. Lord, I'm, I activate the law of redemption through the blood. And through the law of redemption through the blood, there will be a reconciliation between the people of God, between the people, Lord, and uh, what they have lost to the devil in Jesus' mighty name, the Son of a living God, in Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Shakanda Rabakando. So, Father, I come against every form of witchcraft, every form of divination, every uh, all water spirits that are operating against your sons and daughters at the workplace. I ask, O oh God, that a divine restraining order from the court of heaven be released, be issued against these demonic entities, against witchcraft, against divination, against sorcery, against voodoo that may, may be operating in the workplace against the children of the kingdom. I say and declare, God, that those weapons will not will not succeed. I declare and decree, O oh God, that the restraining order, a divine restraining order to protect your children is being released from the code of heaven on behalf of your sons and daughters, not by might, not by power, but by the Holy Ghost. In the mighty and the glorious name of Jesus, the Son of the living God. In the mighty and the glorious name of Jesus, the Son of the living God. Randelebo sakandebo, mandala bamando robo, sakarabamando. Lord, I thank you in the name of Jesus Christ. And Lord, anything, anything that is stealing favor, anything that is stealing favor from your people in the workplace, I declare destroyed. I command the fire. I, command, I ask God to burn it by the fire of Almighty God from the altar of God in heaven. For the God who answers by fire, let him be God. In the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God. Receive this grace. Receive this anointing. Receive this grace. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God. In Jesus' name. Mando robo kandala mamandebo. Akaramando. Indebo sakaramande. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Now, saints, what I'm going to do, I'm going to close us out. I'm going to have you repeat. I know just as I've been praying by myself, so many things were breaking, but I want to just end up with leading you. I'm going to slow down for this part because I want to make sure you can repeat after me this powerful prayer to close out prayer, dangerous prayers for the workplace. Dangerous prayers for the workplace. Glory to God. I want you to pray this prayer after me and say, Heavenly Father, righteous judge, holy is your name and greatly to be praised. May your kingdom manifest in my life as it is in heaven. Plead my cause, O oh Lord, with those who strive against me. Fight against any person or demonic entity that is contending against me at my place of work. Heavenly Father, righteous judge, I ask that the courts of heaven be seated according to Daniel 7 and verse 9. Heavenly Father, righteous judge, 
as I stand before your Supreme Court, I file a lawsuit against every demonic entity or any human messenger of Satan that has been weaponized by the kingdom of darkness to terrify and oppress me at my place of work. Heavenly Father, righteous judge, I thank you that the Lord Jesus is my royal advocate. And I say, Lord Jesus, thank you for standing for me as my advocate in the court of heaven. In the name of Jesus. Heavenly Father, righteous judge, as I stand before the court of heaven, I ask, O oh God, that every evil altar, every supervising demonic spirit that is behind the oppression, the attacks I've been going through at work, I command those entities to be subpoenaed in Jesus' name to appear before the Lord in the divine court of heaven. In Jesus' name. Heavenly Father, righteous judge, I ask you to, by the blood of your son Jesus to silence the voice of the accuser against me and my destiny at my workplace in Jesus' name. Heavenly Father, I repent for any personal transgressions or iniquities in my bloodline that may have given the devil any legal right to come against me at my place of work. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, I pray. Heavenly Father and righteous judge, I appeal to the blood of Yeshua to wipe out all, all, all of my sin iniquity, and every form of evidence that Satan has gathered against me and my bloodline for generations. May the blood of Jesus silence the voice of the accuser. Heavenly Father, based upon the testimony of the blood of Jesus, I'm asking, O oh God, that the court of heaven would dismiss all of Satan's accusations and against me and my ministry and my life in Jesus' name. Heavenly Father, I now petition you, Lord, to release your holy angels who are officers of the court of heaven to go forth and destroy evil altars, uh, demonic entities, every form of witchcraft that has been working against me at my workplace. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I pray. Heavenly Father, I now ask you for a divine restraining order, a divine restraining order against every form of witchcraft or sorcery that is trying to uh, stop my, my, my progress in the workplace. For it is written, no weapon formed against you shall prosper. Lord, based upon the scripture, Lord, I'm asking for a divine restraining order against any demonic entity or human being who is trying to oppress me at my workplace in the mighty and the glorious name. Heavenly Father, I thank you for this divine restraining order that has now been placed, been put in place in my behalf. In Jesus' name I pray, to God be the glory. Lord, I'm asking, Lord, I'm asking that you seal my victory at my workplace in the precious blood of Jesus of Nazareth. Since I believe if you have listened, taken to heart, or actually pray that prayer with me, get ready for breakthrough like you have never seen before from the very court of heaven. That prayer I gave you at the end is a prayer that is designed to take you right through the court of heaven, I mean, and, and signing off on all the protocols of the court of heaven so you can get the righteous verdict you desperately need and deserve in the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God. Oh, hallelujah. Randebo Sakanda. There's such a glorious anointing in the studio, so I'm sure and I know whenever I feel this way on the set, 
that means somebody on the other side is being deeply impacted by the power of the Holy Spirit. Receive by the grace of God these dangerous prayers for your workplace. Your workplace, I prophesy, will become a sweet place of fellowship. You can't wait to get work. You will not be able to wait to get to work because God is turning this thing around. What the enemy meant for evil, God is turning it. Yes, Kitika, Gladys, yes. Uh, God is turning it around for your favor in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Elena says, I feel the anointing. Yes, there is a very strong anointing that is being released right now over God's children in the mighty name and glorious name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God. I thank you, Lord, and I give you the praise because there will be testimonies of promotion after promotion. So if you've been left, off, left out, I am here to tell you, get ready. Buy a new suit. Buy a new dress because you are about to have a whole new job because God is going to make it up for you for the time they passed you over when it was your moment of promotion. It's not going to happen again. God's going to do it for you this time like never before. So receive this grace. Receive this grace. Receive this grace. I say receive this grace over your life in Jesus' name. Over the atmosphere out of your workplace. Receive this grace by the work of the prophet. For the Lord God does nothing until he reveals his secrets to his servants, the prophets. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Glory to God, I feel the anointing. Glory to God. I feel the power of the Holy Ghost is delivering people in Jesus' name. Saints, listen, uh, Mr. Director, maybe let's put on the, uh, on the, on the screen, testify, testify at francismouse.com, that email. Because I'm telling you, there'll be so many testimonies, and I want you to testify. You see, when you testify, you seal the breakthrough. You see, your testimony is important. The Bible says they overcame him by the blood of the Lamb and by the word of their testimony. So you see, if, uh, if you get a testimony, when, not, not if, when you get a testimony, when you get a miracle out of, out of attending this prayer marathon I've done today for your workplace, you need to come back to the Lord. You need to come back to the Lord and, 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 and testify. To let us know about it and we'll rejoice with you. But guess what? That miracle will stay with you forever. So you simply use the email testify at francismouse.com. Testify at francismouse. You know how to testify? So testify at francismouse.com. Send your testimony. We will receive it by the grace of God. And the mouse, this is what was happening. You know, and by the way, in your, you may want to make sure that your phone number is in there. Because if I like your testimony, I may just call you myself to celebrate with you over the phone. So you got a miracle watching us. You got a miracle. By the way, let me go beyond just this. If you have been following Dr. Francis Mouse and Carmela, and then you have experienced a tremendous miracle, you've got a testimony of something supernatural that happened to you. I want you to take the same email. Testify at francismouse.com and please write me your email. Tell me the testimony. Please make sure your phone number is in there because the chances of me calling you uh, uh, is very, very high. I would love to receive any testimony you have that is connected to this ministry. I mean this ministry. We want to hear those testimonies. But I really believe there is going to be some powerful testimonies. Now, in closing, I want to say, I want to encourage you. The Bible says, you know, uh, that the generous soul will himself be refreshed. The Bible says there is one who withholds even that which is due and it only leads them to poverty. But the generous, but the generous soul shall be made fat. You know, and I believe that the Bible says, give and it shall be given back to you. If you have been blessed, you know, you are, or you are being blessed by Francis Mouse International or Ministry Outreach to the World, you know, the Lord has called us into crusades now. You know, these are costing us a lot of money. But you know what? One soul getting born again is more 
is worth it because you can put a price on a saw, except if you are Jesus, the saw, the price of the saw is the life of the is the life of God Himself. God sacrificed His life on the cross, letting us know that's the value of our lives. Okay. But other than that, you can really participate in giving, sowing seed in the kingdom to connect with the grace that is being released. So right below the screen, you can see a scrolling lower third. Should the Lord speak to you? Amen. As a matter of fact, here's what, what I'm hearing from the Lord. This will be a seed for breakthrough at the workplace. The director's seed for work, seed for breakthrough at the workplace. So whatever you are sowing, I want in the comment section that I know it's coming from this video. Okay. And I want you to write these words when you send any offering that the Lord has ordained for you, has put in your hands for the ministry. Simply for that you want to sow into the ministry so you can connect to this grace, you know. And uh, it simply says, seed for breakthrough at the workplace. Seed for breakthrough at the workplace. I like naming my, my seed so that when the harvest comes out, I can connect. Oh, this is that seed. For the harvest that the Lord is giving us today. Amen. By the Spirit of God. Hallelujah. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Just remember what the Bible says. He that sows sparingly shall reap sparingly. He that sows bountifully shall also reap bountifully. You know, with the same measure that you use, Jesus said, it shall be measured back to you. So whenever Kamal and I want, to, want a harvest that's really big, we amp up our giving because we know the scriptures cannot be broken. If you give little, you get a little harvest. If you give big, generously, you will see great things by the Spirit of God. But I want you to sow a seed for breakthrough at the workplace. And you can use the uh, different ways of giving that are below in your screen. But again, I want to hear your testimony. I want to hear you say, Dr. Miles, you have no idea. I was following you. I was with you from the beginning to the end. Or maybe I just found you on YouTube and you are praying dangerous prayers for the workplace. I prayed with you. I believed what you said. I received it by faith. And bam, God began to change everything at my workplace in the mighty name of Jesus. I cannot wait to receive those testimonies in the Holy Ghost. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Saints, again, I really love you. I appreciate you. Uh, we're going to go out here with Kingdom Fire because I want to remind you one more time that tomorrow it starts right here in McDonald. It's going to be great. We will be having three days of the Kingdom Fire Courts of Heaven. The first time we ever connect the Courts of Heaven and the Gospel of the Kingdom in one parcel. My God, that's a double warm up. That's a double warm up in the Holy Ghost. It's going to be phenomenal. You know, you, you know, if you can't be there in person, please live stream the event. It's yours for 21 days for only $29. Are you kidding me? You take two people to McDonald's today under this inflation, you already passed $29. And then afterwards, you know, you, know, you, you forgot about the burger, you know, that you heard. But I'm telling you what you receive from this can change your life, your children's destiny. That's why I love to eat spiritual knowledge. It goes with you. You know, it go, I mean, a burger will, will last maybe for a couple of hours and it's out of your system. But I'm telling you, the word of the Lord, the Bible says it endures forever. So, saints, if you can be with us live, please live stream the event. But if you can be with us live or you know anybody in Georgia, tell them it's worth driving. Drive, drive, drive. Go and meet with Dr. Miles. You know, go and see him at his conference. Because the glory is going to descend like a mighty river. You know, it's going to be amazing by the Spirit of the Lord. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Wow. Johannes Roberts, said, thank you so much, Apostle Francis and Camilla. Such powerful anointed teaching and prayers. I receive and believe it. Oh, bid unto me, bid unto me, Lord. Amen. I love that. That's John, John Robert. Let's put that comment up on the screen. I love it. Amen. Hallelujah. Joanne Robert. Joanne Robert. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. We bless the Lord. Thank you. So there, there it is. There it is. That's a beautiful comment. 
you know, I'm, I'm sure you are speaking on the behalf of so many others who have also saying the same thing. I thank you so much. You know, since I love our partners, I tell Kamala that we have the best partners in America or around the world. Passionate followers of our books. You know, I meet my partners or my, my YouTubers or my Facebook, my Facebook people, or my Instagram people. And guess what I hear? I have all your books. They have changed my life. You know, that really, really never stops blessing my soul. It blesses, it blesses me deeply. But most importantly, when I, when I also hear how the miracles you are receiving by following me. By the way, if you're, if you're not subscribed to my YouTube channel, what are you doing right now? Please click the subscribe button right now. Click the subscribe button right now and subscribe so you never miss. If you're on Facebook, simply follow. Simply follow. Maybe you stumbled upon me by accident. Now I want to follow me or a Dr. Fran a Dr. Francis Miles on Facebook or Francis Miles International at YouTube, you know, by the Spirit of God. Hallelujah. Amen. Quartes, I know Quartes. Only the Lord knows I needed this today. Thank you for your obedience. Yes, you know, obedience, the Bible says, is better than sacrifice. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Amen. May God be getting some thanksgiving going on now. We're getting a love fest in the comment section. I really appreciate it. I love it. You know, people don't understand what it takes, you know. That's why most pastors don't do what I'm doing. Come on live. How many pastors? Go on YouTube and see how many pastors are on my level of ministry globally can take the time to come on Facebook, YouTube, and just live. Take 90 minutes praying over individual needs of their, of their followers. I don't know many people do that. But Francis Miles International, we just, me and Camilla, we just love that personal touch. Personal touch. You know, I am a man who has got a crazy schedule around the world, you know, but I still find the time to do this because you know what? You are that important to me. I have to do that. James Mbungua says, man of God, to say that you have changed my life through your teachings would be the understatement of the year. My God, that, that just hugs me. That felt like a fuzzy hug right now. Thank you so much. I love, thanks, James. That's amazing. You, you, you know, other people are telling me the same thing that they are living on these revelations. You know, um, I was in South Africa. I met many of you in South Africa. You know, uh, by the way, you know, uh, we're going to be letting you know about where to, you can get my books. Now my books are available for sale in South Africa. You know, South Africans, don't, you don't need America, South Africans. You, there'll be a number you can call, get my books in South Africa, all of them. Dangerous Prayers, Restraining Orders, you name it. Also the, in Zimbabwe, same thing. Zambia, same thing. So we'll be giving you those numbers by the grace of God so that uh, you can, um, uh, on a different feed, I'll do that. I'll be giving you, I'll be making an announcement about that by the Spirit of God. We try to do it today, but the graphic we are trying to use was not working properly. But on the next video, when we drop it, tomorrow I'll be going live to interview a powerful prophet, a bishop and prophet, who has a word called, what's next? Oh my God, when I heard this word, what's next? Whoa, my God. So tomorrow I'll be going live with Bishop uh, 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 Swirly, Bishop Swirly. And I are going to be going live tomorrow. Uh, uh, we're going to be going live. Uh, I believe it's going to be tomorrow morning. We'll be going live to, to you guys. You know, and don't miss it. It's going to be phenomenal. Phenomenal. I love you and I bless you. God bless you. Thank you so much. Uh, I know miracles are happening at your workplace. I know there will be bosses who are about to get fired because of the way they have treated you and get ready for new elevations, get ready for, imp for promotions that, we have, that used to pass you over and now come into your house. In Jesus' name, watch God move because the, I can see the angels coming in your direction. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Shalom, shalom, bye-bye. Then I said, behold, I have come to do your will, O oh God, to fulfill what is written of me. What about you when you come before a just judge? How much breakthrough, deliverance can you get?
Jesus who never come to the cross to die for your sin. He did it already. But he rose in his priestly garments as Melchizedek now. His number one assignment is to defend what he died for in the court. We break every chain. We break everything that the enemy has put upon our life. That we will be a people of honor like never before in Jesus' mighty name. The actual sign of Pentecost is the power of authorized utterance at a higher level where your words pierce the hearts of people and they can't shake the impression of what you created. When God is saying, no, I need you to wake up because you're walking in the wrong direction. And if you keep walking in this direction, you're headed for destruction. Everything that Jesus did when he came to this earth and now he's ascended back to the Father and he says, I've given you all authority, I've given you dominion, now begin to act like it. God wants you to know it's not by your might, it's not by your power, but your spirit is going to raise up in you and he's going to take you right through that mountain. No matter what's happened, my God is faithful. No matter what I feel, my God is going to come through. No matter what they say, my God is going to show up. No matter what I think, my God is on time. He's always been on time. He's never early. He's never late. My God is going to show up. Grace is the divine ability to be and do according to what God called you to. In other words, if God says, be holy as I am holy, grace enables you to be holy.